it is time for percent equations. Um, this time we're going to take some problems asking about percent and we're going to write them out as an equation based on the words that they give us. So to start with, um, to find the percent of a number, you just need to multiply the number of the percent equivalent of either the fraction or the decimal. Um, you're not allowed to multiply by a percent, so whatever number you are given as a percent, change to a fraction or a decimal first, and then use that. And there are two very, very important words um, for this that work for almost every math problem, word problem you'll ever have, and it's this. The word of means to multiply, and the word is, or sometimes they say was, means equals. And so if you use that as you read through the sentences, you can translate it into an equation and solve from there. So first one, at the bike race, the rider rode 25 miles per hour for three fifths of an hour. How far did she ride? So we're gonna literally translate each one of these. It says what? That's gonna be my X, cause I don't know it. So I make a variable in its place until I can figure out what it is, is, that's our equal sign. Three-fifths, well, that's the number three-fifths. Here it says of, and that's going to be my multiplication, 25. And notice that um, there's two types of ways that this will work out. One is it'll say x equals, and the two numbers will be on one side. And so the uh, variable's already isolated. You just need to multiply these out to get your answer. I'm going to make this a fraction and say 25 divided by 5 is 5. And last but not least, I have 3 times 5 is 15. And we were talking about how far she rode, so this would be miles. So here we have three more examples. We're going to be translating, again, the, the word problem into a math equation and then solving. So first one here for A, what is 90% of 25 miles? Notice we have a percent here. And so we're going to have to change this to either fraction or decimal. I'm going to change them into decimals here, but you can use fractions like you see up above. And um, I'm going to use the number 0.9. You don't have to write the zero after it. So when it says what, again, that's what I don't know. So that's my X. It tells me is, that's my equal sign. 90%, we're going to use 0 0.9, of, means I'm going to use some multiplication, 25. And then we go ahead and multiply those. Again, x is already isolated, so all we need to do is multiply these two together to get our answer. And we end up with 22.5. And again, we were talking about miles in this problem, so it's going to be miles. All right two other types of problems, and um, this time we're not missing the what is, we have that number, we're missing something else. And so in that case, what we need to do is still translate this into an equation. So six is the number six. Is means equals still. What percent? We don't know the percent, so that's gonna be our variable, our x. Of means to multiply, and then we have 75 there. So the what percent became our x, the of is still the multiplication, and 75 is still in there. Um, normally when you write an equation, if you have a number times a variable, what you do is you write the number first and the variable second. So just as a rewrite, I'm going to write 6 equals 75x. And remember, we have an equation. Rem the one above it already had x by itself. This one does not, and we want to get x by itself. Right now it's being divide or multiplied by 75. We do the opposite, which is divide by 75. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. You end up with x equals, because 75 divided by 75 is 1x, and um, 6 divided by 75 is 0 0.08. Now that is the answer in decimal form. This is the one problem where you have to pay attention when it says what percent we need to turn it into a percent. And the way to do that is to multiply by 100. The shortcut is to move the decimal point back two places to the right. 
and we end up with 8%. And our last one, 36 is 25% of what number? And again, we're going to change the 25% on this one to 0 0.25 because we can't use the percent, so we made it a decimal. We're going to translate everything we have one more time. So 36 is, so that's my equal sign, 36 is 25% percent point two five of, that's my multiplication sign, what number? I don't know it, that's my x. So I am left with 36 equals 0 0.25x. And again, I want to isolate the variable, get x by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 0 0.25. So I do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. But whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. We end up with 1x on this side. And then on the other side, we end up with 144. If you remember, if you divide by a number less than 1, it actually makes the number bigger. And so we end up with 144. And in fact, there were no units on this one. So that is our answer, 144. So when you're solving these, basically, you are going to end up with one of two scenarios. You'll already have x all by itself, in which case you just multiply the two. Or you'll have x is on the same side as a number, so you'll divide both sides by that number in order to solve for the missing one. All right, I will see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.